welcome back. Um, we're we're looking now at the uh, the shaft that we created last time. Uh, it's all been annotated, but we still haven't um, set up the the way in which the torque is going to be transmitted from the gear to the shaft, and it's going to be transmitted through this bit here. Okay, so we need to be driving into that part of the shaft with the gear. So let's have a look, see how that's going to happen. Uh, obviously, we've got an interference fit on there, and that's going to prevent the gear from sliding up and down on the shaft, but it's not necessarily going to carry the torque from the gear into the shaft effectively. So to do that, we're going to put a key slot into the shaft, a keyway into the uh, gear and we're going to sit a key in between them so let's have a look see how we might do that first of all we need to get the key sized up so let's have a look on the uh, on bs4235 uh, for how we might do that um, the the breadth of the key and the height of the key fit within the interface between the shaft and the hub of the gear and there it is sat in that slot there and the depth that we need to cut into the shaft is marked up as T1 and the slot cut into the hub of the gear is marked up as T2 so that's you know fairly simple stuff um, the type of fit that we want if we had a free fit that would allow the that's more if you want to allow the shaft, to, the gear rather, to slide up and down the shaft. We don't want to do that. So we just need a normal fit. And the fit that we require is going to be an N9. Okay. And in the hub, we would need a JS9. Now, the diameter of our shaft segment is over 10 and up to 12 because it's 12 mil in diameter so we need a 4 by 4 section um, keyway so it's 4 wide and 4 deep so breadth times height width times thickness 4 by 4 so there's our tolerance values just just here so as you can see the slot in the shaft is a nominally undersized and in the hub, it's like a transition fit on a standard size of four. So it's equally split across it because it's a JS9. It's equally split across the nominal size. If we go to the shaft, we need to cut in by T1. So that's four by four, two and a half millimeters. Now the tolerance on that cut is plus 0.1 minus 0 but if we're going to use a geometric tolerance to set the uh, the tolerance of the depth of that cut then realistically we need to state 2.55 and then use a 0.1 tolerance zone so that the, the depth of the cut can vary between 2.5 and 2.6 so let's go and have a look at creating the the key slot so we're, we're back on our model uh, we need to keep uh, make a key slot and it's measured from a plane tangent to the surface because that's how you're measuring the depth of the cut so we need to set up a, uh, a reference plane okay plane it's tangent to that surface and we need to be relevant to the to the top plane like this now i'm going to put my slot parallel to that top plane there we go so there's my plane that i'm going to create my slot on so i'm going to go sketch choose that plane here we go come on let's go sketch there we go i'm going to reorient the view normal to there we go so we're now sketching on this plane. Uh, if we go and find it in the hierarchical tree, 
It should be over here somewhere. There it is. So there's our sketch. So we're going to sketch on there. We're going to use a, um, a slot. There we go. So I'm going to put a center line down. End to end. That'll make it easy to constrain our slot to the existing geometry. Um, there's different types of slot you can put in. We're going to put a, a center point straight slot. Well, I'm going to put in a center point straight slot. You can put in whatever you want. I'm going to set up my dimensions to be this type. I'm going to go add dimensions. Um, so I'm going to need to pick up on the center. Drag out, click on the edge about there and pull it out. So it's automatically created my sizes. Okay. Now I'm going to edit these sizes. So I'm going to make my slot 18 millimeters in long and it needs to be four millimeters wide. So that's the, the, the size and width of my slot. Okay. And I can now reorient the view isometric like that. And I now do my cut, which is 2.55 millimeters deep. So 2.55. There we go. And there we go. So that's the slot cut. And I can turn this plane off. I don't want to delete it. I just need to hide it. Okay. Okay, so let's see then how we might now tolerance this slot up. Okay, so we know if we go back here, we need an N6 tolerance on the width of the slot. Okay. So the width of the slot is an N1 tolerance. So let's go back to, uh, to SOLIDWORKS. So let's set that up. So we'll go into uh, SOLIDWORKS MBD. Um, it's a size. And it's from that side. To that side. Hopefully it's going to, hopefully it's going to do something. There we go. So one face to the other face. There we go. So there's my, my slot. And we need to set a, uh, set a size for that slot. Well, it needs to be We're going to go fit with tolerance and we're going to apply an N6 there we go we need to put the parenthesis on we need to make sure it's got there we go make sure the tolerance is set to uh, three decimal places and then we need to put the envelope on there to control the form oh I've put the envelope at the wrong end move that there we go and click OK so in this case the uh, the value is currently um, locked on this plane okay if you look the, the dimensions are at the bottom of the of the hole there so it's not particularly cleanly um, located so it might be useful to see if we can reorient that location. Okay. So to do that, we just need to right click on it, go annotated view, and we're going to try and drop it on the right view. There we go. So that's on the same view as those other other features now. There we go. So we've got the size, but now we need to uh, we need to control the the profile essentially not the profile the 
the uh, location and orientation of that slot relative the, to the existing datum system, which is A, B, and C. So we're going to use geometric tolerance. Now it doesn't really matter whether you use position or symmetric. Symmetry. I'm going to use symmetry so that it's going to be equally disposed about the axis. Okay. Uh, in which case it's only really related to A B. Or you could equally use position. Let's put symmetry on it today. So the location accuracy of its location well we need to think about how far that can be out before it pushes the key itself out of alignment with the slot that it's going into so we need to think about the clearance between the key and the slot on the JS fit which is the tighter so which is the looser of the two so that side is, is, is going to be the side that's going to have a loose element to it so we'll look at that later but you know you can imagine it's going to be around about 10 microns or thereabouts so we'll put it on that, that for now maybe we'll come back and and set that up a bit better so and our datum system is a dash b with C as our secondary datum. We're going to drop that on like so. There we go. So it's a little bit, it's not really as tidy as I was hoping. Let's just drop that there. There we go, so that's okay. So there's our indicators developing all our all our geometry so far so there's two there's three parts now that are not yet tolerant or rather three features since we've put that in and um, we can pick those up if we do the show tolerant status you can see that's now done that's now done this hasn't been done and neither of the ends of the slots now the ends of the slots we could um, just use profile that one and that one there we go so those two cylinders so we'll collect those together and then we can apply our profile of surface A dash B C Yep, so it's going to pick up the entire pattern of those, hopefully. So let's just see if we can find somewhere suitable to place this. We'll pop it out here for now. Okay, so that's picking up both of those. Surfaces and so it's got the two by. And if we now click on here, we'll see that they should be completed. It was only it's not calling them out as, as complete, even though they are. Let's do this inside surface.
so we've over machined the depth on that on that um, bottom face so that we can then place a tolerance to bring it within the original scope so we've got profile of surface a dash b c that's this surface here Now these really should be located relative to the slot, shouldn't it? So let's put a datum D on that slot. Now hopefully we edit this AB is going to give us our alignment with the axis C is going to give us our location along the axis and D give us our horizontal lock onto the surfaces that are adjacent to it. There we go, and they're now green. So that's handy. That's now fully tolerance drive shaft.